The, uh, there's a Republican poll out mm -hmm. uh, uh, that says that Stephen Colbert is fifth among Democrats. They surveyed a thousand people who, I don't know, like Republicans or whatever the right. polling was. But is, is there a period of time, have we gotten there? Because Mencken predicted that eventually we'd, uh, we'd actually yes. elect the dumbest guy in America. Are we going to someday elect a satirical president, a guy who really has no intention of having the eyes doing it as a, as a sales tool for something else? Well, we're working on it. Yes. I mean, we did, we did elect something of that nature in 2000 and 2004, if you want to look at it from a long distance. You know, if you're up close, it may not be that. Um, I was around in 1960 when uh, Irwin, Professor Erwin Corey ran for president. And I was around in 1968 when Pat Paulson ran sure. for president. And I think Larry Flint had a go at it there. Uh, for a while. It's, um, you know, it, it's, why is he, why is he the fifth among d Democrats? Doesn't he play a Republican on television? Yeah, apparently he, he comes in 10th or 11th down there with Tom oh. Tancredo. He's only got like 1% <laughs> of the Republican. Because he is, as, as uh, Bob and Ray once posited, was the best way to try to get elected, run for both the Democratic and Republican nominations. You have two chances. He's, he's just a wonderful, uh, he's a wonderful comic relief and I, and I hope he goes far and I hope he can get a couple of primary states under his belt. <laughs> really, you know who I'm going to vote for next time if things keep going the way it's going is that gay dude. No, Mike Pence. <laughs> if you watch TV, all they want to talk about is the election, the election, it's time for a new president. I think first we need to celebrate the fact that Bush ain't going to be president no goddamn more first. First. This motherfucker. I don't understand. How the fuck do you get a job and fuck up everything? <laughs> everything? Everything. This motherfucker has fucked up everything. Gas, water, air, everything. And he's not just stupid. Bush don't even give a fuck. He won't even try. At least if you're stupid, you should try. He don't even try. I don't even know why he go to the press conference. He don't even be talking about shit they even be talking about. They just, what do you think about the problem in Darfur? You get on that horse, you gotta ride it. <laughs> Who the fuck asked him about a goddamn horse? <laughs> then he walk off like he done really said some shit. <laughs> this motherfucker don't give a shit. <laughs> Bush done led this country lost for eight goddamn years, for eight fucking years we've been not finding the same one motherfucker we was looking for in the first place. The same one motherfucker. Not a gang, not a group, not a country. The same one motherfucker. The tall one with the beard and the robes and the kidney problem and the dialysis machine lived in a cave doing a video right now. We still ain't found that same one motherfucker, but they know everything T.I. did at the Hip Hop Awards. They got that shit down in five minute increments, just nine o'clock, 9.05, 9.010, 9.15, 9.00. .10, .10. I don't know why that said 9.010. <laughs> Some of you niggas couldn't wait. That dumbass nigga said 9.010. That's not even a real time, that nigga said. That's... Bush's motherfucking ass, he don't give a shit. Every time you see our soldiers, they tired as shit from marching in the wrong goddamn direction. Every time you see them, just... Y'all going the wrong way, we know. Oh, no shit. Two weeks ago on CNN, they said Pakistan is terror central. Pakistan? That's not what the fuck you motherfucker said, Pakistan. You said Afghanistan. Then you said Iran, then Iraq, then Syria, then Baghdad. You motherfuckers have no idea where Terry is, do you? And why the fuck is we chasing Terry if Terry can't even keep a home address? Maybe Terry ain't doing well right now. But well, Bush don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. And white people, y'all too nice. Just let a motherfucker fuck up the greatest country for eight years in a fucking row. White people, you just let the driver of the car be lost for miles and miles and miles. And they won't even say nothing. Just sit in the back seat and talk shit quietly to each other and shit. Just I don't think they even know where they're going. No, because we passed that three times, remember? I took a picture with my camera phone. You do remember. 
as niggas, we ain't got no patience. You can't even be the lost driver of niggas, cause we ain't got enough patience. Soon as your ass make two suspect lefts, your ass is no longer the goddamn driver. Niggas ain't got no patience. If one nigga in the back go, Hey, you gotta pull this motherfucker over, nigga. You can't be the driver if you don't know where the fuck you going. We got warrants back here, nigga. We can't be lost. Just looking around. Bush his motherfucking ass. He don't give a shit. He think he can just go over there and fuck with all the countries that got brown people in it, then come back over here to America like everything gonna be okay. Everything ain't gonna be okay. You can ask a nigga. You can go in the club and say fuck everybody in the club, but you cannot then walk back to your car. I keep trying to tell you. Go ahead, try it, try it. Fuck everybody in the club. Now go back to your car. Wait for it. The fuck I was trying to tell you. And now, now it's time for a new president. And all they want us to do is pick a new president. I feel like, didn't we just get out of a fucked up relationship? Maybe we don't need a president right now. Can we be single as a country for a while and maybe date a president, see how that work out for a couple months? This shit is bullshit. I've been confused the whole goddamn election. I've been confused. Because everybody commercial sound good at 2.30 in the goddamn morning. And you done had a rough day and shit. They just, do you care about your family? <laughs> yes, I do. Is health care important to you? Well, yes, it is. No, nigga, this motherfucker know me personally. This ain't no regular campaign. This motherfucker's in my family life. I've been confused the whole goddamn election. Before Barack came along, I was excited about Hillary. I thought it was gonna be a good thing for us to have a woman in the office. I felt like at least if we had a woman president, we wouldn't have to worry about what other countries was doing because bitch gonna be on espionage on day one. That's gonna be her first shit. You know I got Chinese voicemail messages today, right? I'm gonna get the MySpace password by 10.30. Give me a second, bitch, it's my first day. But then Hillary came and started acting cocky for no goddamn reason. Like, she should have been president all goddamn ready. Like, you motherfuckers need to Google me. I've been running countries before this. this she can't stand Barack's good talking ass. Every time that nigga say something clever, she just... I don't know what Hillary was thinking. She thought she was just gonna inherit the minority vote. Like she was just gonna get the nigga vote off top. Wait a minute, bitch, we don't know you like that. No, no bitch, we like your husband. We like your husband. That's, that's not the same thing. You wasn't even on the invitation. It said Bill Clinton plus one. We didn't know who he was gonna bring. I was voting for Monica for no goddamn reason. I thought she was coming back. I'm just saying, you can't think niggas forget. Niggas don't forget. Last time I checked, you wasn't handling the presidential penis correctly. So I'm trying to figure out if you can't handle a dick, bitch, how you gonna handle the world? That's a big place, I'm just saying. Fuck that, that was your main missile to look after. That was Air Force One you let fly the fuck off. How the fuck? I've been confused the whole goddamn election. You'd be back in D.C. You know, I'm just thinking, man, this is, this is an election year. I'm gonna ask you, your white guy, do you know who you're voting for yet? Don't know, do you? Now, you see that? You see what just happened here? Let me tell you something. That is a cultural thing. He knows who he's gonna vote for. He's just not gonna tell me. See? I've noticed that. That is a cultural thing. White people do not like to talk about their political affiliations. It's a secret. You ever ask a white guy who's voting for you? Hey, Bob, uh, Bob, who are you gonna vote for? Dave, Dave, whoa, 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 take it easy now. Take it easy. So anyway, um, I was fucking my wife in her ass, right? And, and I mean, it was something else. Yeah, 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 but, but, but who are you voting for? Dave! Babe, come on with the voting. I'm trying to tell you about the fucking my wife here. Ask me all these personal questions. <laughs> they don't like to divulge that information. 
because it matters to them. Black people talk about that shit. Black people openly talk about politics. Black people openly talk about beating up politicians and shit. <laughs> if I see George Bush, I'll kick his motherfucking ass for cutting my Medicaid. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Black people just say it. But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people, see, see, even when I vote right, which I don't, but, but, <laughs> but even when I like, think about like, who I would vote for, right, I don't even look at their political policies. I just look at their character. You know what I'm saying now? You gotta read, no, I'm serious. You gotta read between the lines. Like, you know, you look at Clinton, and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on the campaign. That's all one thing on the campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, you little nigger baby. Mwah! Just kiss him. I said, mm-hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see George Bush Jr., he be that, Like, see, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now, listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. Not in the White House. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? The stakes are too high in the White House. Can't have no coke here president. Mm -mm. He'd be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. <laughs> He'd be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on, sign the treaty, baby. I suck your dick. Like what the? Uh, Mr. President, that is not how we do business here, sir. <laughs> Stop sucking the ambassador's dick. <laughs> no, let him finish. <laughs> I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel, finally. <laughs>